Hey guys, it's Vicky. Welcome back to the channel. Now today is episode 28 of Minecraft and what we are going to do, as you can see by the background, is go over our new update, which is Minecraft 1.16. So let's jump in. Quite a lot has changed. A lot. A lot has changed. So, um, I'll show you that and then we'll go over the update. There is a lot to cover. So, uh, yeah. Sit down, grab a cup of tea, get comfy, and we'll uh, we'll get started. My Minecraft keeps not responding, so that's a lot of fun. Right, um, where do we start? Let's head out the front. I don't want to give it away before we've shown it. So, first thing is this thing. Our bees, they're going. We have a family of three bees over here. I've given them a little flower bed. So, as you can see, this is our um, crafted beehive. And as you can see, it's full of honey. Um, but it's full of honey every five seconds, so I've kind of given up on that. And then, boom lots of changes on the house so we'll start at the front in fact i'll do it in the daytime so let me just go to sleep and then i will show you it all it's quite cool if i do say so myself um giving it all away as i walk through first thing is that um a lot of cats kept spawning in the house so i have grabbed a couple too so we have two little cats on this little green carpet little green rug little cat bed um, so they're chilling there. All of these chests are over this side now for all our armour and their associated enchantments. So I had to just sort the roof out and raise it there so that they'd fit and I'd be able to get into the top chest. I put a little fireplace in the bedroom, which is quite cute. Um, so they go up into the chimney, which is up there. Not sure I like this glass bit here, but it works. Got a little white rug here. And then we've got a new balcony out here, which I'll show you underneath. It is really cool, if I do say so myself. We now have about 20 million golems, as you can see. I think there's actually like 15 golems now. We went from 5 to 11, and now there seems to be more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's more than 15 golems. Um, <laughs> I might have to actually get rid of some because they're just... There's too many. And we surprisingly haven't had many raids yet, which I don't really understand. Um, maybe you only get raids if, because you know when you defeat a raider and you get the little um, icon come up on the screen that is your bad luck. And that lasts for, I think it's 100 minutes. If you go to a village with that icon up, um, then the village will be raided. So maybe that's the mistake I made because the village is at my home. When I'd go home in my other realm, it would take the bad luck with me. So now I make sure I get rid of it straight away by drinking milk. Um, but we have 100 million golems, so I don't really know what to do about that. As you can see, as I showed you last time, we organized our enchanting books alphabetically. We have some more enchantments. Um, Blast Protection 3 and Lure 2 is new. Um, I think they're all the same. Knockback, Lure, Piercing, Power. I think piercing three is new. Respiration three. Yeah. Um that's that. A little bit changed up here, which is I added this little oh stuck. This little chest here, which is for honey. So as you can see we've got four honey bottles at the moment. Um so I had to make some more glass so we could actually make the bottles for that. Then I've put a little balcony over this side, just a little little one, not really for any purpose, but we have a little balcony. Then there's a button to get back in. The stairs are all now like stone blocks, as you can see, I've changed them. I didn't like that they're the exact same as the floor, I like the difference. So these are now uh, stone blocks and the glowstone's moved around a bit, but um, that's that. These stairs and the ones below are now all stone. What we've done here is built a little alcove um, that I like because it's got hedges all the way around. It looks quite cool and it's added texture. The house didn't have enough texture. 
So I've added that. Um, anything down here? I've been using or trialing out the repair and disenchant, which is why upstairs we've only now got two unbreaking one enchanted books. We did have three because I disenchanted one just to see how it works. Um, so if you didn't know, you put in an item. Uh, if you put in one item that's got an enchantment on, unless it's a red enchantment, so the two curse ones, curse of vanishing, curse of binding, they won't come off from what I can gather. Um, but if you've got an enchantment on something, you put it in here and it will come out with no enchantments on and then the uh, the blog will release all the XP that that enchantment had. So if it was like an enchantment 4, you get more XP than an enchantment 1, if you see what I mean. So the level to get the enchantment is the levels you get back out. So if you desperately needed XP, that's one way to do it, if you had too many tools, for instance. If you put in two items, um, their durability, which is this bar down here, will combine and it will give you a tool that is unenchanted, so you'll get the XP out as well. Unfortunately, we only have one fish left. I don't know if it's they despawn, I don't know what, but we're going to have to keep refilling that if we want fish in it, unfortunately. Next thing is out the front, as you saw, we made a little porch, little porch entrance with some lanterns, which is cute, because why not? I've put a little flower bed in here. I might get more tall ones, but I ran out of flowers. This is the outside of that um, alcove that I showed you where the crafting tables are. Not much has changed over here. It's the back that has changed, but I'm gonna go around the other side to show you. That's the major, major change. We now have a balcony area out the back here it is it is built out of quartz we've got smooth stone on the floor and here it is so we have a little swimming pool with glowstone we've got all these flower beds along the side we've got these quartz pillars that hold it up um, well they don't really but that's a design and we've got this water wall which I really like with some glowstone in the bottom as well so it's just adds some some more to the house the house didn't have much about it I don't really like it it would look better if the house was obviously had quartz running throughout it but I thought why not just add an addition we'll build what we can out of the house and I told you when we first started building that I wanted some sort of balcony out here so I did it out the back basically and that is all the house improvements obviously other than this wall here all being mined out all of this along I mined out but it means that we've got Romanda here if we want to do something else. I was thinking a waterfall wall with something hidden behind it, maybe. I don't know. It would just look cool, I think. But I might leave it for now. I did a lot of work. It took me quite a while to get all that built and to trade the emeralds to get all the quartz and all such. So, yeah. We have a load of villagers that don't have jobs, um, I've noticed. Should we count all the golems? One, two, three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen there's two outside and i think there's two inside so that means 2021 22 22 iron golems which is ridiculous but as soon as you get a decent sized village, that's what they do, is they uh, spawn. Still got this room in here. I showed you last time for each of the jobs of the villagers. Just extra storage space more than anything else. Oh, and the guy on the roof. 23. We have 23 iron golems. Um, as you can see, I need to move the gate. There's some bits we need to change, but that's alright. I can do that without too much trouble. Um didn't do much else I don't think oh I did some mining I made this chest here which is um, for going out to the beehive so I made another uh, pickaxe this one's new silk touch glass bottles campfire and some flowers to breed them and that is so that I can sort of come here grab the bits I need run out and sort out the beehive bring them back rather than having to go downstairs every time that I want you know to go out to the bees um, this is all the same down here, other than the steps, as I said. And this is all the same, except you've got a nice little view out here now. It's not great with the solid glass everywhere, but it's what we've got. It's what we've got right now. 
So that's the improvement. It's a much more extensive house now, I think. I quite like it. Um, houses are never perfect when you first build them. They're never quite as you imagine them, but there you go. I'm surprised he hasn't fallen off the roof yet. Maybe he knows not to somehow. Or he's about to. No, he just knows not to. He guards the roof. Um, right. So, now we can get onto the update. Now you may be looking at this and you may be thinking, why are you in all gold armour? Well, it's to do with the update. So, let me press pause, jump over to my other screen and I will talk through this update with you. So, Java Edition 1.16. It's the first release of the Nether update. It was released on the 23rd of June, which was like three or four days ago. This update overhauls the nether by adding four new biomes, four new mobs, and a multitude of new blocks. Um, and different items and things. One of which I found, actually. That's something else I need to talk about. Um, all sorts of new things have been added, basically. So we'll start with the blocks. There's ancient debris, can be found throughout the nether. Um... There are different things now you'll find at different altitudes in the nether. So, uh, for example, in this biome, snow. Most often it's going to be found higher up, right? On like the top of mountains rather than on the ground in certain biomes. So netherite, for example. Oh no, sorry, ancient debris. Much com more common at lower altitudes. Um, there's so much I can tell you about this. There's basalt that you can make basalt pillars from. Uh, blackstone. There's netherite blocks. There's chain. There's chiselled nether bricks, there's cracked nether bricks, there's crimson and warped fungi, crimson and warped nilium, which resembles a glass block apparently. Crimson and warped planks, and that's a wooden plank that doesn't burn, so that's interesting. Crimson and warped roots, crimson and warped stems, crying obsidian. Um, that is an interesting one, that's used to craft respawn anchors. That can be found in ruined portals and other places so that is what i found in the overworld in this this realm not in the nether is i found a ruined portal out on a little explore which i thought oh i haven't been here before because there's a portal not realizing that it had spawned there after the update um so it's basically like a half destroyed nether portal like that portal there but like half destroyed um found one of them they come with one chest so any type of ruined portal has one chest in it. So they're useful to go to. They also will have one or two full blocks of gold. So if you go down here, you'll notice in my special chest, the emerald chest, there's a block of gold because I found one at the ruined portal. Um, crying obsidian, gil glided, gilded, blackstone, which is a variant of gold ore. Hyphae, which is like a plant thing. Stems with bark. Lodestone, nether gold or nether sprouts. Quartz bricks, respawn anchors. Shroom lights, soul campfires. They're cool. What I did was I wanted to craft a campfire. So I tapped in here campfire. And look, that's a soul campfire. Is You need a soul soil or a soul sand. And you can now make soul campfires, which are blue. So that's something we could look into, which, are cool, which is cool. Soul lanterns, soul torches. Wait, so can lanterns be blue as well? Where's my lantern recipe? Oh, I'm not on the crafting. I haven't got the soul sand yet, that's why. We need the soul soil, that's why. Um, so you can have soul torches, soul lanterns, soul soil. You can make a target now, somehow. I don't know if I have the ingredients for it. Yeah, look, you can build a target with hay and redstone. Twisting vines, warped warp block, weeping vines. And those are all the new blocks. Then we've got some items. There's um, all sorts of things on here. I'm actually just going to show you guys this over here. Because it will be easier. So these are all the items I just went through. <laughs> There's a ton of them. Um, yeah, like different items, basalt, blackstone, all of these, blah, 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 then you come down to items, we've got 
a lodestone compass, music discs, netherite armor, netherite items. So you can now make all of your items out of netherite. Um, all items, except the hoe, deal one more damage than the diamond counterpart. So apparently we now have an item that is better than diamond. It doesn't burn in lava either. They float on lava. This is the big bit right here. Floating on lava. Um, netherite ingots. Netherite scraps. Spawn eggs for the new items. So these four here are the new items. There's a hoglin, a piglin, a strider and a zoglin. Which I will show you. And water fungus on a stick. Um, mobs. Hoglins. So they spawn in one of the new areas. Which is a crimson forest. They're hostile. They'll drop raw pork and leather. Adults and babies. They can be bred with crimson fungi. They are hunted by the piglins. The piglins are hostile. But not the babies. Look. They will attack players. Wearing at least... They will not, sorry, attack players wearing at least one piece of golden armour. Which is why I went and put gold armour on. Because one of them, I walked into a nether to try and grab some quartz, as you could see from the house. And this thing charged at me with a crossbow. So I was like, what on earth is this? Um, so yeah. The adults attack with the skeletons. That's an interesting one. So if you were to spawn them, or, I don't know, use them when you're fighting the wither, maybe that would help. They convert to zombified versions when they're in the overworld or the end. They avoid different items, so there's a way to work. Then you've got striders. They're passive. They spawn on the lava oceans in the nether. Drop string. They can be saddled and controlled. Etc. And then you've got zoglins, which are a zomb the zombified version of the hoglin, which is like a, a hog. The biomes. We have basalt deltas, which is a volcanic biome in the nether. Filled with pillars of basalt and large areas of blackstone. The air is filled with a light grey ash like particle. So I think when we first loaded up Minecraft and it had that new background. On the single player multiplayer screen. I think that's what we were looking at. It's where ghasts, magma cubes and striders spawn. So probably not the best area to be. We've got crimson forests. Which is a dense forest with huge crimson fungi. Nether wart blocks and fungi are found in patches on the ground. So there's another place to find nether wart. Other than in the... Um, Nether castles. Uh, you can find the weeping vines under trees and nether water stalactites. So I think they come from the floor or from the ceiling. I can't remember which. Fog effects. Similar to nether waste biome. That's where you can find the new um, mobs in the crimson forests there. Soul, valley, soul sand valleys. A vast grotto composed of uncovered nether fossils. Soul sand. Soul soil. All sorts. And you can have skeletons, ghasts, and endermen spawning there. So now skeletons can spawn in there. So that's interesting. And then you've got warp forests, a blue colour variation of the crimson forest, but with somewhat different vegetation. Enderman and striders can spawn here. I have seen enderman in the nether before, but rarely. But now we have exact biomes, these two right here, in which they can actually spawn. So now we're going to have to be extra careful in the nether, unfortunately. All sorts of different structures, ruined portals, they can generate in the nether and the overworld. They can be underground or underwater, and you find a loot chest, one loot chest beside the portal. Um, there are new 11 new advancements now. Hit the centre of the target. Obtain debris. Full suit of netherite armour, so that'll be interesting. Country load, take me home. Ah, that's funny from the song. Obtain crying obsidian. Fully charge or respawn. I'm not sure what the respawn anchor is, to be honest with you. All sorts of different things. So we're going to have to find all those biomes now. So, I've seen this. I read that there's a new bartering mechanic, right? this thing here stop doing that this thing here so the player can trade items with a piglin bartering is done by right clicking piglings with gold inglers or dropping them on the ground which makes the piglin drop at least one item or block in return with different blocks having different ra uh, varying rarities interesting and this death message is interesting as well 
they added a new death message for being killed by another player's firework using a crossbow. So now you can what? Put fireworks on crossbows and kill someone. So you can go off with a bang from a firework from an item or a mob because the crossbows, the piglins have crossbows. So they technically can kill you. Um, there's a new soul speed enchantment. A new treasure enchantment only obtainable via vartering with piglins or in the loot chests in the Bastion Remembrance. Only for boots. So oh, so you can now walk faster on the soul sand or soul the soul sand or soul soil. Interesting. That could be handy if you need to get around the Nether. Um, they have different sounds. And I just want to show you what they look like before we uh, go in. So you've got Piglin, which look like this. This is the guy that came at me. He looks like this. You've got the Zoglin. These words are so weird. It sounds like I'm a baby. That's what they look like. Um, Hoglin. So that's when they are zombified and enter the overworld. <gasps> they can target the ball. It's called a Ravager, is it? Interesting. Hoglin. This is what they look like when they're in the... Oh. Hog... Hoglin. Yeah. There you are. That's what they look like when they're in the nether. Um, and as you can see, they can be ridden by piglins. And what was the last one? Um, Piglin, Hoglin, Zoglin, Strider. These are the th not that. These are what they look like, kind of in the uh, in the Nether, just chilling along with the um, chilling along in the lava. And they're passive, I believe. So um, that is that let's jump back in and i guess head into the nether and uh have a look and see what we can find so we need to explore basically the issue is i went in a few times trying to explore i can't even find a nether castle like it's just expanse of the same stuff so i don't really know the best way to do it if that makes sense to explore and find the right stuff i'm going to take spares of all my tools i'm going to take a proper sword this one um it's difficult because i don't want to attack mobs right because then do they attack you like i don't really know to be honest with you so we might just have to go in and give it our best shot it's really difficult because it's like you obviously got the zombie pigmen, right? Does a piglin, if I attacked a piglin attacking me, does it count as a hoglin? Like, one came at me when I went in and I tried to... You know when you deflect with the shield and the arrow they fire at you goes back? That doesn't work. Not spawn, it came through the portal. Um, um, and there is one already. There's a baby. Hello. He's holding glowstone. So there's your first instance of a uh, a little zombie piglin running around. These are all the zombie men, I think. I didn't notice them having ears before, but maybe they did. Um, see, I just don't know where to go. I'm just like spinning in circles, just like... A, I'm going to get lost from my portal, and B, where do I go to try and find some sort of biome do you know what i mean just where it's so difficult to get around there's so many holes in the floor and all sorts and it's so dark i just do not know where to go maybe getting down to the base level is good i don't know oh look there's a strider you see him two striders down there um i don't want to be knocked off the edge by a pigman i just i don't i don't see a way to go i don't know where to go <sighs> like which way I'm kind of stuck on this platform. It is so difficult. Oh, there's an adult. 
Piglin. He would be coming at me. Oh, there he is. Look, in his gold armour. He'd be coming at me with his crossbow if I didn't have gold on. So now you know, it's important to go in with gold. Um, it's just expanse. They don't make the nicest sound. It's just like, where do I go? I'm going to go this way. Let me put a torch down. It's so dark. I came in and got a load of um, quartz and glowstone, so that's why there's like gaps in places. <sighs> Honestly, right, we're going this way. Let me put a torch somewhere so I can tell. Look, that's a gap. I could have fallen down there. It's so dark it hurts my eyes. I don't think we've been this way. Okay, there's a reason we haven't been that way. It's like everywhere you turn, there's just holes and gaps and stuff. Like, I don't see another biome. Do you see a crimson forest or whatever it is? It's so dark, I could use up a million torches. I can't have been this way because there's a ton of mushrooms. It's like I wish I could increase the brightness more somehow. I'm going to take all the mushrooms because why not? Source of food. My eyes hurt already. You've just come in. Have I got silk touch on me? No. So I'm not going to do that. So if you were to find the netherite, whatever that looks like, and get it, it would probably mean it mean you can't lose your stuff in lava, like float on the lava. So if you were to try to build out to it wherever you fell, you'd have your stuff back. Quite honestly. I'm just worried I'm gonna get lost. I just wanna find another biome. <gasps> That went really fast. It's just like... Let's go along here. Hello. See, look, if I fall down these gaps, I'm going to die. Mm. We need to get over there, but there's lava in the way. Or over there, I guess. I'm sorry if you can hear the rain. It is raining outside at the moment. We had like a few days of what you can only describe as scorching weather. Like 30 degrees Celsius. And then it's now raining. Which we kind of needed, so I'm not mad about. Ugh. I can't even see. Can I increase the brightness somehow? Um. Brightness. Was I on moody? I didn't do that. Oh, I can see more now. Look at that. That's better. Right. Um, how are we getting across here then? Can I go this way? Oh, I should have bought blocks with me. Um. Well, there is obviously... Oh, they're having a little mother's meeting down there. Um... Well, let's grab some... Oh, well. Give me some blocks. That'll do. She says. I can't believe how dark that was. Let's work this way.
I can hear something I've not heard before, so I feel like that's a good sign. Made it across. Well, we've come across um, the piglins, the adults and babies, which are these guys. I've not yet found a hoglin. We've seen the strider as well. We've found a hoglin. But I think they're only in these things called bastions, which are like their, I guess, another type of castle, their base. Don't really know. The only way I can assume of doing it is getting down to soul sand and then trying to build across. I may have to sort of look up a direction and cheat it a bit to try and find something because I could be out here. I'm probably already lost. I could be out here for years just hunting through, I don't know what even biome this is, just regular nether. Is this the waste nether wastelands? I don't know. Can head up that way if we need. Again, not seeing anything different. I don't know about you. Maybe down there, but then how do I get down there? Do you know what I mean? I'm going to try this way that the pigmen are. Try not to fall down a hole. Yeah, look, there you go. So the pigmen are more like skin coloured. The piglins, the zombie pigmen are more pink. I mean, I haven't explored this far in the nether before, but equally, I'm not seeing any of these new biomes or anything different. I don't know about you guys. What's up here? Nothing. Um, let's see if we can get around this side. Plenty of uh, glowstone if we need it, but then I prefer it to be in here where I can actually see. Because it's so hard when we come in. I'll just point out that I'm fully going to be lost now. See, clearly not a good direction to be going in. I fully think I'm lost. I'll try and find my way back. Came this way. Ish. Oh no. You don't see me, it's fine. You can't shoot me here, it's fine. But you can a bit. <gasps> he hit the pig man! Oh no. Yeah, you chill over there. I'll have my bow ready. He's trying to get round to get to me. How dare you? You can't see me now. Let's just give him a minute. Look, he can't see me. Give him a minute to chill. Go over there. There, there we came. I see my bridge. Shh, you can't see me. Oh no. Quick. He's going to go for me. I can see him. Oh no, I need to eat. Oh no, Enderman. This way. This way. Do 
this way. Is it this way? Now I'm a bit lost. We definitely came this way. But then what did I do? I must have gone round this, I think. I'll have my bow at the ready. Now do we go that way or that way? I'm a little bit lost. I mean, I'd say follow the torches, but they go both ways. Um, I'm feeling like it's that way, but I'm not... I'm going to follow the torches this way. I don't think I came across that. Big magma there. Might just have to take him on. Let me have a look down here quick. There's torches everywhere, but if I follow them eventually, it'll lead me back, won't it? They're going to make me fight them. I found it. Yay. Right. Well, that was fun. Not. Still not. No more lag. Um, so you saw the new mobs most of them i don't really know what to make of it to be honest i don't even know if the new um whatever they're called biomes have spawned in there i assume they have but i don't know oh what was that oh it was a cat i told you they keep spawning in the house but they can get out because of the pressure plates um let's see if we can go to sleep no not yet um well We've been in and seen what it looks like now. Sort of. I don't really know how else I can find something without looking it up, really. Um, so, yeah. I could go and show you guys the uh, ruined portal if we like. But that's pretty much it. We did a bit of an explore in the nether. Oh, I know what to end on. So, this episode was going to be... Can I sleep yet? No, it's just dark. Yeah, this episode was going to be going into the jungle, finding parrots, pandas, and a jungle temple. So what I decided to do was think, hey, let's go explore the, the rainforest, the jungle, beforehand, just of, you know, on my own, off camera to see what we can find, see if we can find the right direction to go in. And what I did was go round the edge of the entire jungle. And it's huge. It took multiple Minecraft days to get round. But it does mean that I actually found a jungle temple. Didn't go in, but right next to where I found a panda, I found a jungle temple. So next episode, we can go explore that. Um, have a good look, see what treasure we can get from it. It's quite possible it's the only temple in that jungle. I don't know if it's one per biome. I don't really know how it works. And I did only go around the edge. And the jungle is probably the most dense biome. So you can't really see far into the trees. But I did not want to get lost, which I almost did at one point. It took forever. I actually mined a load of coal while I was doing it. So I don't really know if I've got a lot now. Because it was right, yeah, I've got quite a bit now. Because it was right next to a mountainous biome. So there's like a mountains. And the mountains are covered in coal. So um, I explored that. Um, found a temple. So next episode, if the weather is nice when we come in. I'm not going to go do it in the rain and the dark. Especially in the jungle because it's dark already and we'll, we'll have mobs to face. Um, 
we can go explore that. I've got a couple other, quite a few other episodes planned as well. There's a couple builds I want to do. Um, yeah. So that's the new house. I've shown you what it looks like. We kind of need a doorway in here now somewhere that we can get out to our little balcony without going in the rain. But I think it looks cute. Swimming pool, the smooth stone, the quartz. It's quite nice. I like it. I like my little hedgerow here and the little flower bed. It's cute. Oh, don't go out in the rain. Here you go, look. Oh, he's found his own way out. <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Hello. It's wet and rainy. Do you want to come back in? No. You're just going to explore in the rain, are you? So many cats have spawned. But luckily they can stand on the pressure plates and get themselves out of the house. Um, so that is that episode. Episode 28, I believe. <sighs> yeah, so that's that episode. Episode 28, I believe. Um, thank you for watching and for sticking with the series. We are getting to the point where we're nearly ready to face the ender dragon we're going to start working on um enchantments potions that sort of thing coming up so that is it thanks for watching and i will see you next time well what are we going to do next time oh yeah explore the jungle and go through the jungle temple so yeah thanks for watching and i will see you next time bye